What's up everybody, Alan Tyler here. Welcome to the first episode of Alan Tyler Cooking Through the 4-Hour Chef Domestic Section. Today's recipe, asso buco with lamb shanks. So, we need some ingredients. Most importantly for this dish, lamb shanks. We got four lamb shanks. A bundle of carrots. A can of tomatoes. A touch of garlic powder. I'm not a big fan of garlic, so I go really, really light on this stuff. And fortunately, this recipe does exactly that. Extra virgin olive oil, salt, and a pepper. Some white wine for cooking. And a lemon for a bit of zest at the end. This is one of the bonuses to get points on this recipe. It's not part of the main recipe, but I want those bonus points. And then for equipment, we only need a couple of things. Cast iron Dutch oven, knife, and cutting board, reusable oven bag. Uh, this will go on the inside of the Dutch oven as a liner. I'm gonna get started. Come along. First things first, we gotta turn the oven on. That'll work. Then we've gotta wash and chop the carrots. We don't have to do much chopping with the carrots, but this is a chance to learn holding a knife at a basic level. So this is basic knife skills. The point here is rather than holding a knife actually on the handle and grabbing it however method you want to there, this is learning how to actually grab the blade. So you essentially hold the blade between the thumb and forefinger actually in front of the handle and then wrap the rest of your fingers around on the grip underneath. This gives you a lot more control and stability when you're using the knife. All we're doing with the carrots is actually cutting the ends off of, and then we're gonna use our hands to break them in half. But it's important to learn this grip. Waving it around like this, I'm sure, is a very recommended and safe way to use the knives as well. Now we're just gonna build ourselves a bed of carrots. Now I'm gonna cut open the lamb shanks and lay them in the Dutch oven just on their nice bed of carrots. Now we're gonna add tomatoes, garlic powder, olive oil, white wine, ground black pepper, and kosher salt. And that's it. Now all we're gonna do is put the lid on and throw it in the oven for two hours. Wow, that was a really, really tasty meal. I don't think I've had lamb shanks ever before, so it was a new experience for me. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. I lost the audio for a bit there uh, and doing some of the ingredients and all that, putting the recipe together. I'm learning, I'm still getting used to this and um, double checking things is always, always important. For the recipe to wrap up, I'll have um, two things to say about it, I guess, that are is feedback for myself <clears throat> on it. Uh, one is that I didn't peel the carrots. Uh, the recipe had said you can peel them if you want, but in the interest of saving time and if you don't really care, don't worry about peeling the carrots. Uh, in actually eating them, I wish that I peeled it and next time I would peel the carrots. Uh, the reason being with the carrots is that it, it they, they felt like they still had a skin around them. So it was almost like it was like wearing an extra little coat. Texture wise, I think it would have been nice if the carrots were, were peeled. So I'm gonna make a note for myself in my book about that. So that the next time I look at that recipe, I can go, oh yeah, next time, make sure to peel the carrots. And then the second piece was uh, the, the lamb shanks themselves were just way bigger than what I'd been anticipating. I, I had to pile the fourth shank on top. It wasn't a big deal, but I was a little worried about it because it was like, oh, it's not quite as uh, covered by the liquid. Um, so I think just next time, maybe only doing three. 
But that being said, it totally turned out. All four of them were, were fantastically well done um, in terms of getting cooked. It was nice and tender, it was real juicy. So they turned out great. So I learned about the recipe, but skills that the book was trying to teach me, rapid learning method, I learned about one knife skill, the way to hold the knife, kind of gripping the blade with these fingers and then wrapping the rest around the handle underneath. And then the second thing I learned about braising or slow cooking, slow, long cooking. Definitely a method to uh, appreciate and know about and keep in mind to use again in the future. So I'll have to look at doing those variations down the road. For that, I'm going to give myself uh, a score on the scorecard. I got... Um, the base points of 12 for cooking the dish. I also did the two different bonuses. One was uh, learning to use a microplane and shave a little bit of lemon zest over the top of the dish when it's when it's plated and ready to go. Um, it's just kind of fun too. It's like little lemon snow. And then the second variation, or the second bonus was uh, testing kind of simmering temperature. Uh, so in total, I'm gonna give myself a score of, of a 16 for this meal, which is actually, out of all of the meals, you'll see um, the highest points for the base meal. So this, I think, is actually one of the most complicated or most intense dishes out of the intro program. So I'm excited to see where the rest of them takes them. Up next for the next episode is going to be scrambled eggs. Thank you for checking it out. I hope you learned something. I know I did. Don't be afraid to hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you in the next four hour chef video, if not sooner.